Hi Libras, welcome to your love reading for the month of September 2020. If you are a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this is your reading, okay? If you're on the cusp of a Virgo or a Scorpio, you may wanna watch their videos to see if they also resonate with you. These are very general, so they're not gonna resonate with all of you. If you would like your own personal reading, all my links are down below in the description box, okay? So, um, I had already pre-shuffled for you, so this is what I focused on your side, and this side is the other person that you are wondering about, or your love interest, or if you are single, maybe you go from going through this to dealing with someone who is like this if you do meet someone. Again, it's not going to resonate for all of you. Uh, some of you might feel like this might be your side, and this is the other person's sign, uh, side, sorry. So take uh, however it resonates with you, okay? I'm just going to focus this side as being you. So let's start with your side, okay? Um, so the overall energy that I get with you is the, um, the card teach. Okay. So this card gives me the sense that you are discovering a lot about the other person or yourself, um, or that there's some sort of lesson you wanted the other person to learn. Um, or perhaps maybe you didn't mean for them. You know how that sometimes we go, Oh, karma is going to bite them in the ass. I know it's going to happen with, from what they put me through, yada, yada, yada. And it's not that we always wish bad on someone. I'm not saying that you were thinking that, but sometimes we, we end up realizing, oh, okay. So, so-and-so recently had this happen to them. And although I didn't wish that on them, uh, sometimes it's nice to feel like, okay, well, they kind of got what they deserved anyway. Now that's one of the meanings I get with this. Okay. I'm not saying all of you are going through that sort of thing, but maybe there's something, or maybe at one time you were trying to teach this other person how to love and open up, or maybe somehow you were meant to be, um, like a big impact. It's almost like you might be more spiritual than this person. Um, Perhaps you have or will have a major impact on this other person um, that I see in the reading, okay? I'm just going to put these up here because my camera won't fit everything in here. I mean, it will if I make it like really, you know, like big, but I don't want to have the camera too wide, okay? So, because I would like to kind of stay close to the cards as much as possible. So I'm going to start with this. So we have the clouds and the lilies. So the clouds is a card of mis uh, confusion, misunderstandings, uncertainty, needing clarity, depression, and sadness, something that's kind of not seen. It's kind of not known. Sometimes like the book card, it is secrets. It's not always a secret card, but this in the book card is, and it's interesting because you both have the clouds, mm -hmm. except they got this. I'm using Lenormand decks, but you both got the clouds, just two different decks. That's very interesting here. So um, you're definitely having some of the same energies here. And then you have the lily. So the lily could be very sexual, but it also can mean very good intentions, a mature, wise person. Um, so this is definitely feeling unsure about a possible or hidden affair. I'm not saying it's an affair for all of you or just a um, feeling unsure about this relationship. For some, this is feeling very unsure about a sexual relationship. So maybe this was just a fling or that's, or that something is lacking in this relationship or connection, like confused morals, confused morals, because the lily is about also a card of purity, morals, doing the right thing justice peace it's a very peaceful card um unsure about the other person's intentions right and if we look at the anchor and letter well this is wanting that steady flow of communication with this other person but it could be that there's been a lack of excitement in this conversation like things have died down um feeling stuck about a conversation um or just there's a strong focus on needing to communicate with this person. Um, unsure about how you're going to communicate with this person. Or there's some sort of, like I said, just basically lack of con conversation about something. Something wasn't said. And you're still trying to hold on to what was said or what wasn't said. And I think it's holding on to what wasn't said because there's, un you know, there's no clarity about what was said or a message or something like that. It's like you feel that this other person might be not as interested or maybe it's you who feels you've done all what you have done, you know, but the, you know, we have the garden and the snake. So I see these two as 
um, you really desire to be more open with this person or you want them to be more open. The snake can also be a third party, by the way, but it's not always a third party. But the snake is desiring, strong desires, seduction. It can also be manipulation. So the garden is other people or being very open to somebody, being very open-minded, um, our out in public, entertainment, the media, social media. So perhaps there was some kind of message pertaining to a third party it may not be cheating but it could be just someone else that would that came into the picture and caused some issues not trusting what other people have were saying um it could be that you're hoping some truth comes out like you're really desiring something comes out it may not be a truth but just something you you want this person to open up that's how i'm seeing this more and uh, again, there could be manipulation caused by other people or something they presented themselves as. And now you're like, I feel like now uh, here's another storyline. The teach card can be that you're learning this lesson. Maybe this person that you've been dealing with is a karmic partner or perhaps you are, I don't know, there, there's some kind of karmic lesson to that this person needs to learn from you that's going to make a big impact because you do have a happy card in the outcome under the deck here as one of the outcomes and this is really the outcome these two and these these two so hmm. so let's take a look at their side so we do have the card um i drew the card just breathe <laughs> okay um this tells me that either they have taken a break or a step back okay or that they're freaking out because this card is sort of signaling what they should be doing like i don't know whether to say when i see this card just breathe it, it, it it's a card like the meanings of the of the deck that card is generally about needing to take a step back needing to review everything so to me that kind of tells me that maybe this person you maybe you're not talking to this person or this person just needed a time out or they're freaking the hell out because that's the the advice to that person is they need to calm the hell down because maybe what they're fearing because I do see that here with the, I see that a lot in their cards. It's like this person's freaking out more than you, by the way. And maybe this is showing up because this is the universe trying to tell them. And maybe if you're the cross watcher, this is you. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. Um, regardless of whoever, whichever side it is, this person over here is maybe needing to just breathe. Because what they're thinking is, you know, everything's going to hell because that's what I kind of see here. Not that it is, just they're freaking out about it. So I feel like, I feel like this person is trying to make a decision or they're trying to recover from a past relationship. And I say decision because we do have uh, the crossroads, okay? So the crossroads is decision-making, alternate path, um, choices, um, you know, it's just like the old school. We don't have it in your side, but it's like the, uh, the other cards with the two crossroads. It's like an alternative path. So I don't know if there's, um, with the scythe, the scythe is about pain, something that suddenly happens, hurtful pain. So like I said, this person's trying to make a decision or they're trying to recover from a past or what's happened between you guys. Um, the scythe and crossroads together though is hurt and pain caused by a choice. So I don't know if there was some sort of decision or that, you know, every day we, we make choices. So whatever was said between you and this person, that was also a choice. It was their choice to say, to respond. It was their choice to react the way that they did whatever happened here. So whatever happened here, it says, or if it hasn't happened yet, there's like a painful decision. Uh, maybe they feel like they don't know what to do. Maybe there is a third party. Maybe you're with someone since it showed up on your side, unless this is you're uh, feeling confused about a third party that they ended up with, right? Um, it's not always a third party for all of you, but for those who are going through a third party situation, because some of you out there probably are, um, it's like you're wondering, you're confused about whether they're gonna choose you over this person. And they're just trying to take a breather, like, oh, I need time, I need time. So you're, I feel like you're dealing with an individual who seems to be dealing with anxiety about what they caused you or what they might cause you this month, or they're now realizing, 
what they might have done okay because we do have the heart and clouds together so this again you they got the clouds you got the clouds the heart is feelings uh compassion relationships so there's a lot of confusion there about or a lot of insecurities when i get these two together this is also insecurities okay so or maybe they're hiding their emotions. This is also hiding how they really feel or they're trying to act like nothing's wrong, right? And this is causing confusion. Like, where is this going? Are they gonna open up to me? Is there a third party? Or if there is, are they still with them? And you're trying to figure out what this might be teaching you or what you're supposed to be learning here. You're wondering, is this a karmic relationship? Is this something that is only supposed to be temporary is this person a lesson or are they actually a long-term relationship i don't know what this is sort of thing um so the whip and birds they have that too right here so <laughs> this is someone freaking the hell out okay uh this is a lot of stress and worries okay um so yes this person either has a lot of guilt or is stressed over maybe you're the one that's being closed off to them Huh. And the birds in the whip also represents worries over conflicts or arguments. So, or wanting to apologize. So it's possible there's an apology coming. I feel like either you, like I said, either maybe you taught them a lesson or maybe, again, maybe you didn't. I mean, well, you know, some of you might be like, well, I'm going to teach that person a lesson, you know, from what they did to me sort of thing. But again, I'm only saying that really because you did get the teach card, but it's not like that meaning for all of you, okay? Um, or maybe they're realizing what they have done or will realize it soon what they did, okay? Whether it was about a third party or not, whatever they did, okay? Um, because this shows me that something was done and they regret it and they're worried about losing you. This is, their outcome is worried about losing or something ending. The birds and the scythe, this is their outcome. And maybe this is you, but regardless, this side, this is being worried over an ending, <laughs> worried over losing someone. It's the same thing with the birds in the coffin. It's also similar with the scythe. So uh, yeah, and your outcome doesn't show that. You just really want clarity. You are desiring clarity, right? Or maybe you're desiring them to get caught <laughs> because of what they did. Maybe you've been hurt and another woman has, or another man has been hurt. There's no significator here, so it could go either way here. Um, yeah, with the snake and clouds, this shows, you know, that the desires and motives are unclear. Now, another meaning here is to conceal what's really being said. Mm -hmm. So I feel that either you are having trust issues about the other person's feelings because um, maybe they've taken a little time out, right, with that just breathe card. Again, it may not be that way, but it could be that or they're freaking out because you need more time right? Like, oh, okay, that person, they, they need their time. And now I'm afraid I'm going to lose them. Because maybe that's what you need. Maybe you need more clarity. Maybe you're some of you, I pick up also another storyline, some of you might be communicating with a third party. And this person right here, like whoever this person's with, you've got in touch with that person or woman. I'm only saying woman because a snake is usually the other woman, right? Regardless of the, the gender. You guys, another storyline I'm seeing here is some of you might have been talking to their person and trying to figure out what's really going on here. Are you guys still together or not? And he, this person <laughs> is kind of hiding out because they don't want to even deal with it. They're like, oh shit, okay. Now, for example, like the wife is talking to the mistress over the phone and the husband's freaking the hell out because he's worried the wife is going to leave him now because now her and the mistress is finding out shit together. That's a storyline I'm seeing here. But again, it's not gonna be for all of you. That's just one of the storylines, okay? Um, but again, another storyline in general, whether it's a third party or not, is they messed up pretty badly here. And even though they were in the wrong, they're the ones who have stepped back now. And you're wondering what's going on because of the lack of communication, all right? There's still that lack of communication. And you think there might be other people involved, yet they're more worried than you think they are. Okay. So again, it may not even be a third party. So it could be just whatever happened here. They're freaking out more than you are. So you're freaking out because they've taken a break, but this whole time they're actually the ones freaking out more than you, but you may have no idea about that. So let's see what's under the deck. Cause again, the sun is good. Mm, maybe I was meant to see that the anchor again, stability. All right. Okay. So we have the key, the sun and the child, the child is new beginnings, unless it's about a child. 
but in general, the child is uh, new beginnings, okay? So somebody does want a fresh start, and this is good. The, here, you have the sun, happiness, joy, happy things, happy outcome. The key is really good here because the key is finding solutions to a problem. So I feel like whatever is going on with you and this person, it's likely to be resolved here. And I'm not sugarcoating this. This is what I see based on this reading here. Okay. So the key again is resolving problems. The sun is happiness. So regardless, I'm seeing a happy outcome here because things are likely to get cleared up and a realization does bring happiness. So well, what's crazy is everything I saw, them being afraid of losing you, them, you know, you, this person worried about what's really going on here, needing clarity, it still has a happy outcome here. So um, there's definitely, I do see likely that things will get cleared up. So this is a very happy turn of events for you. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. That's what I have for you, Libra. And again, if you would like your own personal reading, my links are down below. I will see you guys on my next video.